Hi everyone, Letty here. Today I'm gonna to share with you another not too shabby shop. This is my haul and it's gonna be a craft with me video at the end. This is for the month of July, 2022. Welcome back everyone. I have another little small haul from Not Too Shabby Shop. I just wanted to definitely show you um, so you can get some ideas and make sure if you're interested, you can pick up these items. I'll have a website link and a coupon code down in the description box below in case you're interested. Um, this is a haul from July from this month. Here is my freebie when you spend over $60. Jamie always includes a freebie um, automatically. And so she sent me this very cute tropical uh, summery ephemera pack so so cute with these uh, flamingos and all of the little palm trees and pineapples and things it's just so cute what i love about this though is that it coordinates with the paper pad from this the paper pad subscription of the month for july so here's the it's tropical paper pad this is one of the two paper pads that comes and you can see here that it coordinates perfectly so i'm super excited to use this i think i'm going to do this do a project at the end or before the end of the month where i use up some of this paper and these ephemeras and then here is the second paper pad that you also get which is the mermaid fantasy this is the real reason why i wanted this kit i didn't even realize that little tropical paper pad was so cute um but <laughs> it doesn't surprise me because these paper pad subscriptions have just gotten cuter and cuter and cuter every month as I've seen them roll out um, and so you definitely want to check it out if you're interested I've already gotten a sneak peek as a, one of the perks of being a design team member on the not too shabby shop design team um, and I've seen them and they are amazing like you guys need to check it out um, so those are the two paper pads for the July subscription and then here are the two paper pads from the June I saw so many people use these and I was almost worried I was going to miss out on it. She, I think Jamie restocked these. And so if you were interested in still picking this up, definitely think about going and purchasing these as well. She does have those available in her shop as well. I've purchased a couple of other, other items. Here is the new Distress Oxide color, the Uncharted Mariner. I did pick that one up. And then I also picked up some of this Calls for Confetti. Of course, this one's called Purple Potion. Look at that gold that gold on that purple is so gorgeous. Perfect for Halloween. And then look at this one. This one's called Campfire Sweets. Perfect. Look at this for, for camping s'mores. It's going to make some awesome shaker cards. So I picked up both of those. And then I also picked up two stamps and two dies. So this one's from the Greeting Farm. This one's called Flappy Birthday. So cute. Look at these little ducks, these geese or ducks. They're so, so cute. So, so cute. And then um, I also picked up the papery ink. This one is called Safari Crew. I think these are just adorable. Like these are gonna be so fun to color, make some cute little projects. I think it's just such a cute little themed stamp. And then I picked up two dies. I have from Cat Scrappiness, I have this uh, mini slimline wonky stitch dies. I picked up this one because I did not have this one for the mini slim lines. And then the You Are Number One die from Lawn Fawn. Here's what it looks like. There's the dimensions. I purchased a lot of the coordinating stamps, so I'm, I'm excited to use that now. Um, and then I, I, I did not purchase this. This was part of my design team a package for this month, but I wanted to show because she still has it in the shop. In case you're interested, this is the stamp and die of the month. It's called Berry Christmas. And don't forget, there is a hop and giveaway going on right now. If, as, if you uh, hop on over and check it out before the, I think it ends on the 13th of July. So these are just a few of the cards I made that I showcased in my video. I'll link that at the end in case you have not seen that yet. So you can definitely check it out. I'll also list that website link and a coupon code down the description box below let's craft so the two items that i'm using today for my project are the distress oxide ink and the mermaid fantasy paper pad we're going to be using this not too shabby sketch that i think was a sketch of the month from last month i really enjoyed it and I, I it's like a one sheet wonder so i wanted to show that today um in case you had not seen it what i like about this paper pad is that it has some cut apart so we will be using those and we'll be using one sheet of six by six paper to make one card with no scraps it is double-sided you see here we have this really pretty pattern on the back as well here again is the sketch that we will be using and i did find that at the not too shabby blog and then i'm also going to use the distress oxide the new uh uh this color that they had that, that just came out so here are all of my pieces. I already have them cut, ready to go. I also distressed the edges of all of my papers. I've already stamped out my sentiment. I use this Brutus Monroe stamp set. It is so cute. I think I picked that up at uh, scrapbook.com maybe. Um, but here are some of my, my pieces. 
Um, and then I do have my, my cardstock card base um, that I got from the Hobby Lobby watercolor cardstock that I had mentioned that I was going to turn into card bases. This is one of them. And then um, we are going to actually use one of the little images from the, the little cut aparts. And I went ahead and distressed all of the papers with, uh, just like that, with the Distress Oxide, the, the new Uncharted Mariner uh, color that just got released. So let's go ahead and cut up this paper. So, and again, this is a one sheet wonder, meaning we're gonna use one sheet to make one card and there are no scraps left over. We're gonna do a vertical orientation, so up and down. You're gonna cut it at four inches, just like this. So you'll have two, two pieces, a larger one and a smaller one. You're gonna take the larger one, turn it on its side and cut it down to five and one quarter. So five and a fourth. So here's what it's going to look like. You have a, a larger piece, which is your mat, and then you have a little skinny strip that we are going to add to the inside of the card. And this is why you have no scraps left over, because that little strip that's left over is really the only scrap, but we're going to add it to the card anyway. So we have our mat, and then what we're going to do with this, this extra piece, it's two inches by six inches, we're going to cut this down to three segments of two inches. So you're going to cut it at two, and then cut it at two again, and you'll have three little squares that are two inches by two inches, and these are going to be the three little squares that you add to the front of your card just like that and then again your little scrap strip is going to go on the inside of the card so there's no scraps left over after you make this card we'll add our sentiment add the images and then call it a day so let me just show you real quick the difference between distressing the edges and non-distressing i think either looks beautiful it kind of just depends on the paper and what your mood is i really wanted to use up this new ink color so i thought it just turned out great and i thought it worked beautifully with this paper pad i am using barely art wet glue today the first thing i'm going to do is glue the little scrap strip into the inside of the card at the bottom so there you go, just like that. And again, let me show you real quick the difference between distressing and non-distressing. So in case you either want to or don't want to. Um, here, we're going to go ahead and glue the mat down to the card front of the card, just like this. And once more, let me show you just again the difference between distressing and non-distressing. So it gives it more of a like depth uh, to the paper when you do do the distressing on the edge. So I think it just makes it look really, really pretty. And especially with this pattern paper that has these teals in it, I think this, uh, the teals and the blues, I think this, uh, this ink really, really, the ink color really, really blended well. And so I'm just adding my little squares uh, just uh, with what the call the sketch calls for just like this now one thing you'll notice if maybe potentially can notice is that i did use this uh, stitched square die from the card uh, like the pop-up add-on um, and i just added so it would add a little bit of extra texture to those little squares you don't have to uh, die cut the, the little stitches on them but i did and then i added my sentiment and now i'm going to go ahead and glue down my little um seahorse image that i got from the die cuts or from the cut apart sheet from this paper pad and then I did also cut up or fussy cut and distress the edges of these little bitty water bubbles and so I'm adding these to the front of my card as well just a few here and there there you go so that is our finished card now I'm going to take it one step further if you know me you've seen my channel you know I love glossy accents I usually don't show me applying them though so I'm actually going to apply on camera the glossy accents for you here today so we're going to add a little bit of glossy accents to each of these little water bubbles I think it just gives it a really pretty touch when you see the finished card and I'm going to pull show it right here so you can see it kind of a little closer you see how it gives it a little dimension it gives it some shine it makes it look like real water i just think it adds so so much so now i'm going to go through and add just to the rest of the water bubbles in the background because you don't have to stop at just the embellishments you can add some to the actual card mat i'm going to add just a tiny bit to the unit the seahorse as well i keep wanting to call it a unicorn to the seahorse just like this and this is our finished card now so super cute super fun we used one sheet of paper um, and the not too shabby sketch here's what it looks like so here was our the sketch and then what it turned out to so i followed it almost exactly true to the sketch i just i really enjoy this sketch i have I especially like that it's kind of a one sheet wonder and you don't have any scraps if you know me i don't like putting scraps back in my stash so this was again my not too shabby haul and a project share i'm going to definitely link the website link and a discount code down in the description box below in case you're interested make sure you hop on over thanks for visiting everyone hope you subscribe like this video follow me on instagram here are a couple of videos i think you might enjoy and happy crafting